Welcome back everybody. It is time for another Glios review. Today we are looking at the brand new, semi brand new, it was from last month as well and I was delayed in purchasing it and then my package got delayed. Cappy Space Drop with the incredibly creative and awesome looking brand new to the Glios verse Rhine Lords. Now I'll go into a little bit more detail with what was going on with my order but I ordered it late and then it got pretty much delayed through the holidays. I didn't get it till like a week ago. So this is just when you'll have to get it this time around. Not how I want to get these things out there. Want to be more on top of it, but we still got it. And then at the end of the video, we're going to be looking at the brand new wave from Biomaster. I only got one of those figures, but I still want to showcase it, show off what the wave entailed and what's left and available in stock since that one just happened about a week and a half ago and showcase the figure I got as well. But I have been more than looking forward to this new Cappy drop for months now when they teased it back in the fall. I think it was like August when they teased these Brine Lords and they looked in incredible so very excited to show them off and hopefully you guys enjoy them too if you do enjoy the glios universe and these glios reviews make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more future glios content let's not waste any time though let's go jump into these packages and check out these new figures all right our little belated cappy drop the very very cool new figures in the classic cappy bag with his sticker very nice now unfortunately one of the figures i ordered the ceaseless shipmate brine lord i'll show a picture here here and also the raider kit that matched his colors unfortunately i placed an order for it but i guess they had already been lost to the void and he had to refund me for those figures so i couldn't get those in which I was very bummed about because I really wanted that color scheme. So I'm going to have to keep my eye open to get those at a later date. I did get the other Brine Lord and a couple of the other figures and even another mischievous frog Fibian dude that I had missed out on previously. Oh, and we even got this very nice Cray Booth. I hadn't picked him up yet. He's awesome. I forget his name, but I love his color tone. So let's start with the Cray Booths here. We're going to scoot these off to the side and take a closer look at these. It looks like we got two. We might have got a little stowaway guy, possibly, it looks like. Yeah, I'm checking my list. I didn't get this guy, so I believe this is a stowaway, which is pretty sick. First things first, though, let's open up the painted version. This is the Cray Booth Ditto Tech. Ditto Keck? Ditto Kedit? I don't know how you want to say it, but it'll be up on screen. I love that orange. That orange is really sharp. A lot of colors going on in this guy, and I am a fan. I really do like when they add a lot of different details and colors. Cappy likes doing these little side skirt and little, I don't know, would you tiger striping things. It looks really sick, really nice with that nice yellow. The orange is a really cool orange, and it's got these silver little pinpoints on it. And it really just brings it together nicely. The Ditto Cray Booth, however you want to say it. Lovely blue, little navy muted blue. Looks really clean. And then I believe this is the same color blue. Let's open up this guy and check him out. Once again, I think this is like a little extra, extra stowaway, which is pretty sick. Yeah, just a plain simple one. Very nice. You can kind of compare here a little bit. Very cool. That is a nice little extra. Happy about that. I was checking all my other blue cray booths and yeah, we didn't, we had, we've had similarly close blues before, but not quite this tone of blue. It's a little different than other ones in the past. Very nice. Very nice. We will put those to the side. Who are we going to look at next? Uh, I think we'll go ahead and look at our little mischievous figures. And I did end up getting two of these guys. These are the mischievous Fibian shipmates. Very, very cool cool uh they've got the fibian head and they also got well, what's the other one called starts with the b i can't quite remember it yeah let's get into it here what is what is your name i forget i forget it's a little bat a little bat vampire dude thing uh a belfry belfry there we go belfry shipmate if you want the variant of the head i am a big fan of this head uh, but if not we've got the regular fibian setup which we're gonna get going uh, there were a couple extra little connector pieces in there, which is nice. Okay, I just shot the head across the entire room. Let's try this again. Oh, let's try this again. Get this Fibian head on. It's a little bit tight. Bang. Okay, there we go. There's a nice Fibian looking sharp. 
a similar blue, but it's a little bit more vibrant blue than the Cray Booth here. And I love, love, love that neon green highlighting. The eyes look excellent. This neon green, though, is sick. Now, this is the color of the Shipmate guy that I really, really wanted to get from the Brine Lords. And it looks amazing. I, I just love it. And the you'll see when I show the Brine Lord figure off, too, you got a picture of what that looks like on him. But it was really cool. I'm very, very sad about missing out on that figure, but it's okay. We'll get it. We're going to put the Belfry head on this one, too, since we can look at both of them. These heads are extra tight today. Holy cow. All right. We got it. We got it. There we go. The little Belfry shipmate. Very nice. Very quaint. There they are together. Love these guys. They're super cool. Super fun. And I guess we'll jump into the Raider kits now. The little adventure kits. They're called Raider kits. This time around, we got a nice black one. Oh, not that one. That's not it. And we've got a really cool gray one. Now, I forget which one is which. I believe this is the Raider kit and this is the adventure kit. Yes. Raider uh, adventure kit. It's got the normal stuff that we're used to seeing in the adventure kits. Very, very cool. And it's got a black and green vibe. Super dope. Here is everything you will get in the adventure kit. You can see we got this awesome little necklace. It can flip, I believe. Yeah, it's got like two different versions on the necklace, depending on the side. A hammer, a sword, a couple connector bits. We've got a backpack, the top for the backpack. A couple different variations of bracelets, as you can see. And another bracelet that has a little... Tiny mini cray booth. I'm sure you guys have seen these before, but it is really freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, we got another piece for the cray booth. This is actually like, not cray booth, the backpack. This will connect into the backpack here. And then you can actually store like a sword on it or something, which is really, really excellent. Really cool. Okay, so there's the backpack all put together. Looks very sharp, very nice. And then we can take a sword here and we can slip it in the slot. A bang, there you go. It goes right on the back of any of your mischievers or any glyos you want, and it looks freaking sick. And then lastly, we got a little loincloth here too. I forgot to mention that. Looks pretty dope. We're gonna get one of our guys fitted up in this outfit, and then we'll get the other one fitted up in the Raider one. Bada bing, bada boom. There is the whole adventure kit outfit on the Fibian. Looking great with the backpack, the sword. We've got the little hammer in his hand. Necklace always looks freaking dope. I love the look of these adventure kits. Such a cool idea from Cappy. I, I've just been a huge fan. I'm glad I got my hands on one of these. I know a lot of stuff has been sold out. I think these adventure kits are still available, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put what's here in the store, but I know pretty much everything has sold out from that last drop. Uh, the Raider kits and stuff like that have. Uh, it's he, he that was a very popular drop for him. It went over really well. People love this thing. It was awesome. Definitely, if you see this one on the aftermarket or secondary market, you should grab it or something. Or if he does any more of these releases, I would definitely keep an eye on that so you don't miss out on any future ones because they're definitely worth it for pimping out your Glyos a bit. They look awesome. So next up, we do have the Raider kit. There are some really, really dope pieces in here. This goes along with the Brine Lords, or, you know, you can put them on your cool little mischievous figure. But we're going to pop this open and check out everything that's inside this, because you get a lot, and it's a lot of unique, awesome new weapons. And, I mean, you can already start to see it. This is crazy looking. So many cool things in this. Here is the Raider kit in its completion. Very, very cool. There are so many things in here. It's ridiculous. I mean, you get a freaking just huge, huge sword, an axe, like Manta axe thing. It looks crazy. You get a trident. You get handles for those things. You get a little hook. You get an extra little piece here. I don't know, for hooking stuff or something. You get a, like a shark fin, like little fin. That That's super cool. I love that fin. Another necklace, another little bracelet with a doohickey on it. And then you get these two little like gauntlet type bracelets all very nautically themed super super very very cool and then you get this little skibbity doo guy well, look at that little crab shell mr man he's so so neat i love these dudes they look so cool and they got the attachment they can just you can check them on anything i can't wait to do some stuff with this guy it's gonna be so much fun to like throw him on as a headpiece or something it's hilarious i don't even know where to begin with this because there's just so much you can do with it i'm gonna try to maybe put a couple things together and put them on our other belfry dude all right come on that's super cool kind of does it i need a different color scheme to put on these guys i think but that is so so sick and i even gave him a little fin to put on the belfry 
Ah, this giant sword is amazing. These gauntlet hands bracelets look sick. I love it. It's so, so dope. I, again, I, I just wanted to show it off on a figure, but I'm going to have to do something else with these because <laughs> I think this is going to look super BA on a bunch of other figures too. My goodness, I'm trying to even think of like, what do I do with this piece? I can make it an X. I could do something else with it. Who knows? This piece is interesting too. I wonder if that can actually connect somehow to something else. I don't know. We'll have to see. Something to fiddle with. Kind of the best part about these things. You just want to fiddle with these things and do a bunch of stuff with them. Now for the Brine Lord, the brand new figure. Oh my goodness. This headpiece is incredible. I can't wait to pull it out. Let's just get right into this thing and open it up. So many cool pieces in here. So many excellent little like octopus tentacles and stuff, you name it. This is everything that'll come in the package. Oh my gosh, I, I love these. I like, we're gonna go through and take a look at all these different pieces and then assemble them. But these are super dope. I love those little, and this headpiece, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love this headpiece, it's so sick looking. And this one, we got this little Kraken beaked Mr. Man, this beak can come off too. You can switch that around. You can make it something else if you really want to. But that looks incredible. I love the detail on the eyes and the face. And then we get a freaking hammerhead shark too. I mean, come on. That's so sick. I love this. I love how he did the shade of pink on the top here to separate it out. And that yellow just really pops with this pink. Here's the body piece. It's wilding. We got all sorts of tentacles and you got like your basic arm and hand. I mean, even the detail on the inner part of the hand on the palm. It's, you know, we got all the little, what are these called again? I'm forgetting. I don't know. The little grippers. I don't know what I'm saying with that, but you know, you know what I mean? The detail is there on these things. He crushed it. And then we even get this little eyeball, this singular eyeball, which is hilarious. I love that too, though. That's super sick. Oh, we get two of them. Actually, we get one over here as well. And we even get like another little necklace piece or chain piece. And it looks like, look, that has a hook on it. Oh, that's lovely. So you can actually like take your little thing here hook it on have it hang that's so cool i love that we're getting into some accessories for glios that is super fun let's take a closer look at this you even got this little cap piece here on the top you could probably i think you can pop that off it looks like you can pop that off and then you can use that for something else it's got some unique little kind of eyes face aspect going on here too almost kind of neat now i have to try to remember how these were set up from the picture i'm going to do my best but i'm going to just fiddle with it a bit. Here it is, the Brine Lord, the veiled version. Oh man, look at that. Now my finger is already tore up from putting in some of these back pieces. Still a little bit tight on these, but that's okay. I'd rather have that than super loose and flimsy, but I mean, that is just super cool. Super, super awesome to see how that guy looks. I love the look of this. You can do so much. People are going nuts on Instagram with doing builds of these guys immediately. Like so many people had so many different ideas and they all looked insane and incredible. Kudos to you guys out there in the Instagram build community. Super dope. I can't wait to do some myself. Probably do some kind of build video myself here on the channel for one of these guys making something monstrous and cool. I can't wait to utilize this Kraken head. It looks super sick. We are going to pop it off and put on some of the other ones just so you can kind of take a look on how they all fit on the figure itself. You can choose your favorite. Bang, there's the hammerhead. You can see him there. Love that. Super cool. You can have him like swimming, doing whatever, action, posing, camera, tons of little mobility movements with these little tentacle things. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's got a lot, a lot of character, a lot of character, which I absolutely dig. I love the fact that these just guys, they've got their own little world going on already. It's amazing. Let's pop this one off. We're going to put on the Piranha Head. Very cool. The Carp. If you're going through Battle Beast vibes, the Carp Killer himself. There it is. Bang. Awesome. Absolutely dig this one too. Come on. That's so, so dope. Absolutely love this. This is so sweet. You can even do little stuff like this. You can pop these on. This is how he promoted it on the site itself as well. Pop these on like one of the claws and you have a little other little creature here like this. Pretty sick, just crawling around, one-eyed little barnacle dude on the ocean floor ready to attack. Now, is this supposed to be for the neck or the base? I think this is supposed to be for the actual waist of it all. Let's see if it'll fit on nicely. There we go. Now we got his little belt on that again, we've already showcased that a bit, but you can hook the pieces on. 
So he can be rocking that belt and rocking some little gear on his belt. Super, super dope. Love that. Lastly, but not least, we've got the Octo Rig Extra Pack. This is kind of like a little adventure kit, extra parts for these figures. I was able to get it in the color I wanted, but just not the figures I wanted, which is a bummer. I would have uh, much rather have gotten it matched to this guy, I guess, but I didn't know they were going to be out like that. But you can see the things we have in here. We've got like extra foot pieces, very cool, extra tentacles, extra little bits and pieces just to kind of make and do whatever. Extra eyes so we can make one of these dudes again if we wanted. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that. Very nice, very cool. Hands, little pieces here and there, you know, just to add and do whatever with your guy. Extra little shoulder piece looks like, or leg piece. Just for your building needs, you know, you get a bunch of these and you can work out some insane little builds. It's pretty dope. Oh, we've even got this little kind of like small peg piece. Look at that. Interesting. Just to kind of cap off an uh, open hole or something, which is nice. I like when they do that. God Beast has pieces like that too. It's very nice. There we go. It popped a couple pieces together and made another little creature. Nothing too crazy. It's silly. But, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff with these parts. What epic pieces, man. I absolutely dig in this drop. I can't wait for more of these dudes. They look so cool. Now, again, I already kind of showcased what was left in the store and such. So there's not a ton, but he does have other Glios products. So make sure you go support Cappy Space right here. Here's his site. Go buy some Glios from him. They got some Cray Boots left and things like that. So... Go watch out for some of his new drops in the future. This one was super, super cool. And now we're going to go take a look at some Biomasters from their new wave. Let's just kind of slide these up and over, get them out of the way a little bit. I got two figures from the new Biomaster drop, but I only got a duplicate of just one of the figures, basically. I did just get the Phibian Mischievier guy. I got two of these, and we are looking at the amazing Uzarian Phibian. Super dope. Nice thing about how Biomaster did this one, a little bit more per figure as far as cost, but you can see in there, he put an adventure kit, an Uzarian adventure kit in each of these. So that is super stellar. That's going to look really nice. It might even look really good on one of those guys. Let's open it up and check it out. I wanted to touch on this Biomaster drop since I just got it in and they just had the wave go through just a week or so ago. Uh, so I want to kind of stay current as much as I could. And since I only got one figure from it, I did want to just quickly showcase the site, what they had available, what's left in the store as of today. If you see anything you like, he still has some figures go check them out go get some super cool love the glow in the dark ones that he had in this wave uh, i just couldn't afford to get one this time but definitely go support and get something from his store as well link in the description for both sites and everything but let's check out this uzarian fibian there we go there is the uzarian man himself the little frogo with the awesome slimy green sword and backpack and hammer everything we saw in the adventure kit the loincloth with a little bit of a different shade of green uh you know it you got it here and it looks absolutely awesome i was waiting for the uzarian one of the mischievers i'm glad they finally got it out biomaster thank you very much for completing this for me because i very much look forward to the uzarian stuff this stuff is always so sick looks great on a shelf looks great in builds i mean it's just incredible and we also got that belfry head included as well i might even put him on because i have a preference to the belfries that's how the belfry looks all decked out looking absolutely fire love 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 this one it's so cool glad to get my hands on it i don't know if they sold out of these guys again i showed the store if they did then i'm sorry because you're missing out on some cool uzarian stuff but hopefully they'll have more in the future we'll see oh get some of this like pink in here or something might look really really cool combining these oh man the possibilities are endless so cool just quickly wanted to review and look at this guy wanted to shout out biomaster stuff to include it on the cappy drop here because they go together a bit they got the adventure kit you know we got biomaster's version of the adventure kit here with the uzarian one and then we had all the new cappy stuff which was incredible to look at and see that's a nice fun pile of glios with tons of new figures and parts cappy you crushed it with these brine lords i can't wait for more of these guys if you guys enjoyed this too leave a like let me know what you guys were able to get from these drops and what your favorite's been so far and make sure to go support the creators of course once again biomaster cappy space go check out their sites and support them get something that they have available and if they don't have anything 
make sure you follow them on Instagram and stuff so you can stay tuned for that next drop. Well, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. These guys are super, super dope, super, super cool. And I am stoked to see what else Cappy is coming out with next with these guys. He's been crushing it with the creative game in the Gliosverse. Absolutely crushing it with Mischievers to now the Brian Lords. Oh, I am in love with these things. And Biomaster 2 has been absolutely crushing his color schemes lately with his drops. So hopefully I can get some more of the figures in his new drop that'll be coming out in a few months or something. I would like to get more of them in the future. Either way, I had fun and I'm going to enjoy making some cool Glios figures with these guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video if you did. And if you are still here, make sure to click subscribe. Stay tuned for future content. Go Go's Crazy Bones Nostalgia. We got some gameplay stuff. We got card openings and we got more Glios stuff coming up in the future here too. Go have yourselves a great great week coming up here and we will catch you guys in the next video.